Well, hello there, chums. It's I, Captain Stephen Exo, and this is going to be a very quick base tour of Rough House's base. Now, you may remember this. I came here before, and it was a little bit of a work in progress. It had these uh, little free uh, walkways going into the centre structure, and in the centre structure was sort of like a welcome desk and the sitting area, which it still has, like the little welcoming area, and it has this front area here. That that was here before. But this platform, this mezzanine, was not. So this is new. We've got the little blob, blob guy doing his rounds there. We've got some decals there. So that's all new. And also what's new is you see these gantries that run down here. They're new. And on the outside, it almost looks like it might just be structural. But on the inside, you have a staircase that takes you down, which is just freaking ace. And that takes you down to this lower area. And in this lower area now, chums, We've got like a little um, hydroponics thing there, which kind of gives you an indication of what you're walking into. It's a massive, great big freaking farm. And a lot of these have got plants in. There's a few that haven't. He has messaged me to say that he wants to put Gecknip in the final few. So the ones that are empty, I'm expecting to see Gecknip in there at some stage, but there is pretty much a little bit of something for everybody here. Let me just pop into camera mode again from out here so that I can show you what I mean. So you've got the fungal mold, you've got the venom sacs, you've got frost crystal, you've got a pretty much, it's like my everything farm chums, but oh man is it impressive. It's a far more impressive a structure than my anything farm. And look what's down here chums. There's even more down here. So he has been a bit busy, Mr. Roughhouse. Look at all this. This is freaking ace. So, yeah, this is great, Roughhouse. So there's loads down here as well. This is more sort of residential again. But uh, imagine this. You just park your Nautilus up there and just walk straight into here. How cool is this? This is freaking awesome. And look, he's got all the different exocrafts. He's got a way to get them out of here. You just go all the way along this massive bridge and it takes you back out to the actual land area. What a beautiful, awesome base this is. So it's a farm, it's a residence, it's a garage, it's pretty much everything, all in one. He has gone to town on this base, chums, and oh my days is it impressive. It is awesome. I mean, he's not really a glitch builder, but what he's done with this is amazing. I mean, this is all standard stuff. This is all achievable by everybody that's watching right now. And that is beauty in itself, isn't it? And that's kind of artistic in itself, to have that little bit of skill, to put something like this together and have it functional, yet awesomely laid out. And it's just, it's just so cool. Really, really, really cool. And I love it. It's, it's one of my favourite bases that I've seen that hasn't used a glitch technique at all. There's, I, I don't believe so anyway I'm not seeing any glitch techniques here all of this is achieved with what's in the build menu and it's it's so so on point it just shows what you can do in no man's sky with what they give you out of the box and I think it's amazing I mean look how many solar panels he's got that's crazy when those things activate that must be deafening <laughs> Yep, that's my best impression of a solar panel. Uh, um, yep, I know, I could win an Oscar. But yeah, there's the coordinates down in the bottom left-hand corner for this build if you want to come and visit it. And I would strongly suggest you do. Because yeah, I know I've just gone round it in out-of-body camera type mode. But walking around this is just so impressive. It is so, so cool. There's his vaults in here. This is a cool little room. There we go. Looks like a futuristic laundrette. That's not a door over there, so you do get a little bit stuck in there. But that is that is awesome really is awesome so rough house gaming you sir are freaking ace and you're awesome so yeah i will put a link up there to rough house's channel if you want to go check out rough house um yeah great guy and great base thanking you double thumbs up freaking mind blown emoji and yeah all of you guys for watching double thumbs up for you too and i hope you come visit and see you next time goodbye all goodbye and if you want to support the channel, there's multiple ways to do so. One of those ways is Patreon. There's a tier there for pretty much everyone. And these lucky chappies are all getting ship models. Thanking you, lucky chappies. And here are all my other supporters on Patreon. Thanking you, chums. Thanking you. And I have YouTube membership. And you can get sweet emojis to use in my live chats or a Christmas box. And these are people getting a Christmas box. Hop on over and take a look at those tiers. 
And I also have merch. Go grab yourself a fine and dandy mug or a t-shirt or a pair of socks. Hit a like, a subscribe or click in one of these links on this would also help my channel or just don't skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Thank you for watching.